Hello and welcome to analysis of uh, DXY dollar index. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, we're going to actually do a very quick recap on what dollar has been doing on monthly time frame, and then we'll go to um, a lower time frames and then see what kind of opportunities we have. So, um, as I have been actually talking about this for quite a while, uh, but uh, just to recap, uh, the dollar, if I look at the monthly time frame, the dollar is creating a W pattern here. And this W pattern actually does not complete here. This basically is kind of like a you know, sideways movement, which is running at the moment. Dollar came down to test this low or near about here. So this was a double bottom. There was a double top here. So this was a Corona hit, like you know, when Corona hit uh, the market, uh, the market, uh, the DXY started to fall after creating a double top. Now, if the market actually starts to go higher from this, uh, from double bottom, it was expected to reach the mid of this channel, which it has already. This was kind of like, and this was analyzed and predicted in uh, June. Um, in June 2021, we were expecting it to go all the way to near about 97 to 98 area, and it can, in fact, go to 100. There's a very good chance that it can reach 100 now because that's a psychological number. Plus, we have few technical uh, aspects of label um, according to our FCP methodology. Uh, it can reach 100, and if uh, from 100, it can like you know uh, we'll have to see how it actually reacts around there because 100 is a psychological number. Um, there are a few factors that you know which can actually push the market down to 90 level because there have been a lot of gaps left on uh, uh, dollar. Plus, uh, with, we have a W pattern which will complete around 100. In case it starts to continue to go higher from 100, it will reach 103. Then 113 is also a possibility if this midpoint is also broken, right? You know, around 105 or so. So, what do we have here? Like, you know, if I like, you know, um, uh, talk about like, you know, bullish and bear trends both. So, let me just quickly uh, clean this up. So, if the market actually breaks this previous high, Right, which is around 105. It's actually a little lower than 105. Then it is expected to reach 113. Why? Because we have this W pattern, multi-year, multi-decade W pattern running, which can push the price to 113. Okay. However, it is right at the middle of this channel, and it can reach 100. So we'll have to see how it reacts around 100. Okay. If it starts to go above 100, then it can go to 103 or so. Okay. At 100, it can fall down. 103, it can fall down. Okay, at higher level, at this top level, it can fall down. Why? Because we are in a channel. So the top of the channel can act as resistance. Okay, whenever it is going to fall down from here, from here, or even from here, ultimately, it is expected to reach near about 90 level at some point in time in future. We don't know when it's going to happen, but it is expected to reach there. So this is what the whole scenario is like. Now, if I go to the smaller time frame, so let's go to the weekly time frame. What we have got here is this huge move up actually there have been few moves up and i've been reporting them as parabolic moves so there have been um, near about four parabolic moves on dollar so one was around here second one was around here third was one around here and now we are in a fourth parabolic move usually the fourth parabolic move is usually the last one before a correction starts but um, it is still expected to reach 100 near about here at this level. Why? Because we have this W pattern and extended W pattern is also available there. And there is a gap of labor around 100. So just trade what you see. And uh, two weeks ago, I mentioned that, you know, this was not going to stop here. This was a healthy correction on dollar. So you can consider this as a, as a kind of like a channel sort of thing. So if I squeeze this like this so bull flag channel whatever you want to call this in our methodology we don't use any of that but simply if i just show you like you know what uh, what we do is simply downward move we have up, uh, upward move then we have a correction upward move correction upward move correction now we have another impulse to the upside okay so here you could have seen that you know this is a kind of bull flag bull flag bull flag bull flag bull flag right so the market is still bullish and that is why I said, like, you know, the market was going to go higher from here uh, two weeks ago, and the dollar has been going up since then. Okay. This is 
getting overextended. So at some point in time, um, a correction can come, but focus on a little bit of, of fund, fundamentals as well, like you know, dollar um, can have interest rates rising as well. So it can push the price up and you already know where it can go to um, because we have just spoke about like you know, 100 and 100, 103, 105 and 113. Those levels can still act as like you no know, profit targets. So this is still going up. Let's bring in original analysis. So this is where I was expecting market to come down and go up. The market came into FCP zone, went little lower than that, touched these um, trend lines and then started to go higher. These FCP zones are now broken. So what market can do is something like this the market can come down to perform one of these uh, test one of these uh, fcp zones and then go back up this is a very strong candle which formed last week which means that market can actually not have any kind of retest it can simply like you know, start to move upwards that is also a possibility there is a little bit of structure available here so um, that can actually act as resistance so let's see how it actually reacts around that um, because of this resistance area or this uh, supply area, that is why I'm expecting that market can actually fall down um, for a retest here into one of these FCP zones. If the market picks up momentum and falls below this FCP zone, then we can look for bearish move into dollar. But uh, one step at a time, as I always say, the first step is actually to monitor how it actually looks like uh, around here. Uh, right now, this is bullish. Let's see if it actually performs a retest or not. It may or may not perform the retest. It might simply go up. If it performs a retest and if we get a confirmation permission to go long on this we will go long and the next target will be this fcp zone if there is no confirmation or that confirmation fails then obviously the market will start to fall back down and all of these horizontal lines can act as your profit targets because um these are the levels which are still valid and they are still important the blue ones are the gaps which have been left in this market there are a few gaps which have been left here as well in last week as well so market can actually come back down to retest and close those gaps up so be careful there uh, it is reaching um, a level where it can like you know create confusions um, like you know it is looking bullish but it can perform several retests it can consolidate because it has come up a long way so and so far, not major profit taking has been done. So that's why they, it can get confusing. Um, so one step at a time, read one step at a time. Okay. So this is my analysis on dollar. If you enjoyed this, found this useful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with other traders and trading communities because they can also help. They can also get um, help from this analysis. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great trading week.